Hello and welcome to Devotions for People at a Social Distance. Today in my devotions, I was using this book, Lent for Everyone by N.T. Wright, and I read his translation of Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 26. And I was always, uh, N.T. Wright has a, a dynamic, powerful translation, but there was something about it that made me think that perhaps we need to update this one a little bit to meet our present crisis. Here is my translation for today. Suddenly a man came up to Jesus. Keeping a safe two meter social distance, he asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do in order to be safe in this time of coronavirus? Why come to me with the questions about what to do? Jesus retorted, You know what the authorities are saying. What are they saying? He asked. You know, Jesus answered, Wash your hands for 20 seconds, cancel all gatherings, keep a safe social distance of two meters, self-isolate if there's any chance you have been exposed. Do these things and you will live. But I'm doing all of these things, the man answered. I've even stored up a great supply of surgical masks and gloves and essentials in my basement, but still I do not feel safe. There is one thing more, Jesus answered. You must give away all of those masks and gloves and essentials to the people who actually need them. Even more important, you need to let go of the notion that the things you have are what will keep you safe. It is only by making sure that everyone has what they need that we can all be safe. When the young man heard him say that, he went away very sad. He had a lot of stuff stored up in his basement. Jesus said to his disciples, I'm telling you the truth. It is very hard for a rich person to get into the kingdom of heaven. Let me say it again. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter God's kingdom. I think we need to be willing to look at that passage in that way. It absolutely applies. Uh, to what we're dealing with right now. And I don't simply offer that paraphrase, if you wish, for the present situation as a way of saying, as a way of condemning people whose instinct right now is to hoard. Uh, Obviously, that's not a good instinct, and especially those who are hoarding essential medical supplies are are endangering us all. There's no question about that. Uh, But that's not the only point I wish to make. I think if we're going to deal with this crisis and deal with it well, it's not just about acting in a way to prevent uh, affection and infection and transmission. It is about being willing to look at everything with brand new eyes. And it means being willing to let go of this notion we have that this is what makes us, what we have, what we consume, what we buy. If we're not willing to reconsider those thoughts, those ideas that are absolutely essential, central to our society, then we will have missed whatever lesson this present crisis has for us. We need to look at the bigger picture. It's not just about keeping safe in the long, in the short term. It's about learning the lessons of the kingdom of God in the long term. Let's pray. Gracious God, we don't know where this crisis came from or why. But let us not miss the lessons that you are creating for us in it. Not simply that we need to love one another by being apart from one another right now, but also that we need to love one another by being less attached to our possessions and less attached to thinking that our possessions and our wealth is what makes us safe and what makes us who we are open our hearts, our minds to see things in a very new light and to grasp the meaning of the kingdom of God for right now in this present situation. Amen. So keep safe, keep it a safe social distance, wash your hands, do all of that stuff, but let go of that idea that your possessions are what are going to make you safe or what are going to give you life. 
it's time to reevaluate, folks. Everything's up in the air. And the kingdom of God is near. Peace.